talk a little bit about your firm and how you handle, how you help families avoid probate and get the best outcome kind of ahead of time. Yeah, so, well, you know, one of the things that's most important about estate planning is, is education. And that's why I give presentations. Uh, I don't charge people to give presentations. I, I do it really because, and, and I, it takes up time, right? To, to prepare for it, to go attend these things. But I think it's so important, education. I don't charge for consultations either. So in initial consultations. So because somebody comes to see me, whether it's for a probate or trust administration or estate planning, I think education is so important. They need to know what their rights are. They need to know what the processes are. Uh, and once they're educated, you know, knowledge is power. And so they'll be able to, you know, hopefully be empowered to move forward and get things done. And if we're there to help them, we're going to help them. But so educating people in, in estate planning is important because most people that don't do estate planning, and like I said, the majority of Americans don't. And the reasons for that are two. Number one, procrastination. People Oops. just, they know, they think about it, they've been told about it, but you know, so lives are so busy with their family and work and everything else they got going on. Uh, it really, sometimes it takes like some death in the family or some tragic situation to bring their mind. Like COVID, for example, was a big eye-opener for many people where before people, you know, even younger people don't really think about death much and then COVID hit and people started thinking about their mortality more and realizing, hey, they've got to get something in place. So sometimes that's what it takes to get people off of that procrastination mode. But also the other reason that people don't do it is, is lack of knowledge. They just don't understand. If everybody knew what their family is going to have to go through, what it's going to cost them and the toil it's going to take to go through a probate, they would not force their family to go through that. You know, they would wow. be planning. So, so that's what the important thing is, getting the, the word out. And, and really, the most, common, the most common comment I get after we're all is said and done when I meet with clients and do their estate planning is they didn't, they, they, the most common comment I get is, this was easier than I thought it was going to be. Oh. People have built up in their minds that it's going to be so complex and they're not going to really know. and They're going to have to gather all this information and how are they going to do that? Uh, they really, you know, are intimidated by the process. But once they realize after speaking with me and getting educated about what it entails, it's not really that difficult. You know, there are going to be some things, some questions you're going to have to answer, some decisions you're going to have to make, some maybe things you're going to have to face that a lot of people don't want to talk about. Right? They don't, nobody likes to talk about death and, and mortality. But, you know, we, those are things that you have to think about. It's going to happen for sure. So it's just a matter of planning for it. And so we sit down with clients. Our process is simply this. Client calls us, they want to do some estate planning. And so we send them out a questionnaire. Questionnaire is very simple. Just basic information about their family and financial circumstances. What accounts do they have? What investments do they have? Stocks, real estate, and the names and addresses of their family. So they bring that, in, that questionnaire with them to the, to the meeting. We sit down, we talk about, just like we're doing now, we just have a conversation about what estate planning is, what it entails, and essentially that we're trying to avoid the court processes when you pass away and have a plan in place that says, when you, if you become incapacitated, right, before you pass away, if you have an accident or an illness and you're not able to manage your own financial affairs, an estate plan is going to allow you to pick the people that are going to make those decisions for you, healthcare decisions, financial decisions, managing your property if something happens and you're in the hospital. And then at your death, there's a plan for the distribution of everything in accordance with your wishes in a way that avoids the court processes or probate. So we talk about that and educate them. We answer their questions. We determine what's their family situation, right? Are they long-term marriage with children of the same marriage? It's a blended family situation where each of them have been married before and they have children from different marriages. So all of that has to be, the plan, if it's done right, has to be tailored to their personal family and financial circumstances. And so we educate them, answer their questions, gather the information, and then we do the doc, we prepare the documents. So wills, trusts, power of attorney, advanced healthcare directive, uh, the deeds for transferring their property. So we prepare these documents and then it takes us about two months from the time that we meet with them to put all that package together. We get together a couple of months later, they come into the office, I review everything with them in detail. And then they sign all those documents. So, uh, you know, they'll end up leaving our office with a complete and comprehensive estate plan that covers all the bases. So, and a lot of people, it just gives them peace of mind, right? I mean, like life insurance, you, you know, you, you hope you never have to use it. Uh, with an estate plan, you are going to use it someday. At some uh, hopefully point. Hopefully it'll be many years <laughs> in the future. 
but you know, it'll give you peace of mind to know that there's something in place. You know, people I people tell me all the time, you know, they'll call me saying, "We're going on vacation in two weeks. Can you get this done for us?" You know, so that's when people think about it. They're going to fly somewhere. They're going to yeah. take a trip, and they're thinking, "What if something happens?" Right? But if you have an estate plan in place, you know, that peace of mind is always there. Thank you.